Hi, welcome to the program. I'm Rachel Rubo. Coming up on the show, unveiling the decline in mental energy, a gradual loss with time. As we step into the realm of adulthood after graduating from university, we are inevitably faced with the reality that our mental energy, often referred to as vitality, seems to diminish with each passing year. During our university years, there's a surge of mental energy as we delve into new knowledge, develop diverse skills, and embrace numerous experiences. The enthusiasm and curiosity we possess contribute to an elevated level of mental energy, enabling us to accomplish tasks with fervor and efficiency. Once we transition into the professional sphere, the demanding nature of work, combined with the gradual onset of responsibilities, can lead to a gradual decline in mental energy. The pressures to excel, meet deadlines, and navigate the complexities of the workplace can take a toll on our mental well-being. Psychological factors play a significant role in the diminishing mental energy experienced post-graduation. Fatigue resulting from job-related stress, work-life imbalance, and incessant multitasking deplete our mental reserves. Moreover, the fear of career stagnation, limited opportunities for growth, and the pressure to perform further exacerbate this decline. Neglecting physical health and well-being can also induce the erosion of mental energy. Long working hours, minimal exercise, unhealthy eating habits, and inadequate sleep are negatively impact our cognitive abilities and drain our mental resources. Age plays a role in the gradual decline of mental energy too. As we grow older, our brains naturally undergo physiological changes, including a, redu a reduction in the production of n neurotransmitters. These changes affect cognitive functions memory and overall mental impetus. Mitigating strategies. First, prioritizing self-care. Taking care of our physical and mental well-being is crucial for maintaining optimal mental energy. Adequate sleep, regular exercise, healthy eating, and relaxation techniques such as meditation can reinstate and replenish mental resources. Second, setting boundaries. Establishing clear boundaries between work and personal life is highly vital to stem burnout. Allocating time for activities which bring joy, connecting with loved ones, and pursuing hobbies are refresh the mind. The very decline of mental energy after entering the workforce is indeed a reality that many of us confront. Various factors resulting in this phenomenon, including the demands of the working world, psychological aspects, lifestyle choices, and so forth. Having said that though, by means of prioritizing self-care, setting boundaries, and embracing lifelong learning, we mitigate the harmful impacts and incubate our mental energy throughout our lives. With conscious efforts, and a holistic approach, we continue to thrive intellectually and overcome the challenges in our way. Okay, with that, we wrap up this edition of Rachel today. As always, we welcome your thoughts and comments. See you next time. Bye for now.